So, the Truman Doctrine. And now, I'm doing the washing up. Because, I've got in trouble for not doing enough around the house. Because I'm always making flipping podcasts. So, I'm combining the two. And I'm going to tell you about the Truman Doctrine. I'm going to explain it to you. So, the Truman Doctrine is the word doctrine which seems to uh, confuse people. And the way I get people to think about it is if you just change the word doctrine for thing. But I don't mean thing, I mean like thing. So Truman's thing is his doctrine. And his doctrine, or his thing, is he doesn't like the communists. And he wants to stop the communists from spreading all around the world. Um, And he was sort of forced to make the decision to announce his Truman doctrine because of the British because we were short of cash and in Greece there was a civil war going on between the communists and the capitalists and we were supporting the capitalists but we'd run out of cash so we announced that we were going to withdraw from Greece on the 31st of March 1947 now this meant that Truman had kind of two choices he could just accept that Greece was probably going to fall to the communists or he could do something about it. And the thing he could do about it is provide the Greeks with the aid, or the money, and the weaponry that the British had been providing them with before. He was also a little bit worried that if Greece fell to communism, then Italy might fall to communism next, because it's quite close to Greece, and Italy was going to have a trouble, well, a bit of trouble being poor because of the harsh peace treaty, which I spoke to you about earlier on in the podcast. So, yeah, okay, Uh, so anyway, uh, what was I saying, Uh, so yes, he had to make a decision, let Greece fall to communism and maybe risk Italy being next or do something about it, and the thing he needed to do was send some money, but yeah, he can't just do things, he's not a dictator, he has to ask Congress. And the Truman Doctrine was announced during a speech to Congress whilst he's trying to get the aid. And in the first part of his speech, he kind of says, the world has split into two parts. Now I'll explain his bit of this, no, I'll, I'll tell you the bit of his speech which he's mentioning the capitalists. Here we go. One way of life is based upon the will of the majority and is distinguished by free institutions representative government, free elections, guarantees of individual liberty, freedom of speech and religion, and freedom from political oppression. The speech goes on to mention what the other part of the world is going to be like. The second way of life is based upon the will of of a minority forcibly imposed upon the majority. It relies upon terror and oppression a controlled press and radio, fixed elections, and the suppression of personal freedom. So you can kind of see, sort of saying, well, the world split into us, and then. And then he says, I believe that it must be the policy of the United States to support free peoples who are resisting attempted subjugation by armed minorities or by outside pressures. I believe that we must assist free peoples to work out their own destinies in their own ways. Which is kind of him saying, America are going, well, we're going to help the world to not be dominated by dictatorships. In other words, they keeps using the word free, free elections and free people and free institutions. Um, basically, he's talking about democracy, which is how capitalist countries tend to be run and not dictatorship which is how communist countries tended to be run. And and this was him announcing his thing. This is the Truman Doctrine. And Congress accepted the Truman Doctrine and they agreed. And so it's time for Truman to start to decide how he's going to make this whole Truman Doctrine work in practice. Now on the other side of the coin, Stalin, he just kind of dismissed it and thought it's just American propaganda, it's not a big thing. Oh, how wrong he was, because for the next... Well, a few decades to all, until the fall of the Soviet Union, America did kind of try to fight communism and stop it from spreading around the world all the time. 
And so lots of historians would point to the Truman Doctrine as being the unofficial announcement of the Cold War. And there you have it.